Hi, welcome back to the channel. We're seeing assets come up and go up over 5, 6, 7, 8% on Sunday, which is usually a day with not much going on. People go to church and watch football, so there isn't much action. Early on Sunday, and then a sell-off, but Bitcoin hit 40,000 and then slowed down a bit. We'll talk about that in a moment. She was going up like the moon and exploding a few weeks ago. There was a lot of strange activity, and we saw certain assets jump up 15 to 20 percent, and then another one jump up 15 to 20 percent, and another one and another one. It was kind of strange what was going on. There wasn't a pattern. Bitcoin ETFs might be approved, interest rates might go down, and it seems like things are slowing down in the markets and the crypto market. I say this because where I live is tough, but it seems like things are getting a little calmer from an economic point of view. Of course, we'll see if the stock markets correct themselves. Not far away. In the next few weeks, there's a chance of the Santa rally happening, but for now, the markets are starting to move. I made a video last night about what we might want to do as soon as possible to get ready for this possible bull run. If you missed it, you can watch it after this one. So Bitcoin, as I said, went over 40,000. It looks like the 40,000 level isn't a hard rock resistance or support because it's being cut through like cheese. It's good that it hit it because it's a psychological level. For example, I think when we hit 30,000 from the bottom, it wasn't such a huge resistance either. There's sell orders at 40,000 as a take profit area, and then you could see selling happen when that happened. When something moves quickly, shorts can get squeezed out a little, and then we might see a move back down. Today, we're also seeing the Shiba Inu pop over the 900 area and the Terra Luna Classic heat up again, going up 35%. These are huge changes that we are seeing on the Luna Classic. Ethereum, at 20 almost 200 here, right it goes all the way up to 22. 15 of course, Ethereum has a little bit more way to go back to the all-time high it has about 100% to get there even more because it, it was at 4,000, right, 125%, so it still has a ways to go, but Bitcoin has a lot shorter climb to get back to that. All-time high, and it will be interesting. You know when we had the 70% when we had the fake announcement about the Bitcoin ETF? I think it went up like 10% somewhere around that, so I think there's going to be a lot of shorting now at 4. Zero as well, so think about how squeezable it's going to be, right? Because when news like that drops, and we saw when it was fake news, but when it's going to be real news, I think people are going to be anticipating a little bit more because of the dates, right? But when you don't know what's coming, there's a tendency people you know go short. And then when the news drops, these shorts get squeezed out because they don't have the opportunity to react right when, when, when we get to that time frame that people Lee are talking about at the beginning of January. I think the shorts will be a lot more careful in that time frame. They might be attacking now to try to suppress the price. Of course, we've talked about this many times. BlackRock might be trying to keep the price of Bitcoin low and the rest of the cryptocurrency market unstable as much as possible before the official approval of these Bitcoin Fs. They need to accumulate, and we don't even know if they're doing it behind the scenes. If the price goes up too much, it could make a big difference. We've already talked about the cycles that make up the market. So, Bitcoin went from 30,000 to 40,000, and during that run-up, we saw that strange behavior I was talking about a few weeks ago, where it would pop up 20% of the time. That 20% of the time, I think it could have been the start of a cyclical movement. Now we're seeing Luna and Shiba Inu have these movements today, both of which are specific movements and more of what's going on with them, but it will be. You can get $500 for trading $500 worth of Dogecoin if you use my link in the description below. I asked for Shiba Inu, but they said they couldn't do it right now. Maybe next time, but it doesn't really matter. You get $500 for trading. You make money on it. You can transfer it to USDT, do whatever you want. And if you lose it, no harm, no foul. It's a chance to trade with real money if you've been paper trading or if you want to try on. Take care and remember that exchanges are for selling and exchanging the tools they give you. They're not meant to be savings accounts or bank accounts. Just remember that. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and always give me a beautiful smile. I think about half of you who keep coming back for updates haven't subscribed yet, which is weird. 
I guess I don't ask for it very often. If you do subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Thanks for watching.